have to say action. I can tell you a lot about it. So Monday, hopefully Monday, possibly Tuesday, we're hoping for Monday, I will be launching the crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo for my feature kind of film directorial debut, which is called Mama Bear. Um, I've directed in the past. I, I got the chance to direct an all-girls Western comedy web series um, called Cowgirl Up with uh, writer-creator Nancy Lee, and uh, she is also the kind of writer creator of the first show that I was ever on called South of Nowhere. She um, introduced me to my wife who it all comes full circle because Mama Bear is my wife. She is our hero character. She is the female Bruce Willis from Die Hard. Um, essentially the quick pitch on it is that she has 24 hours to save her four-year-old and find him a liver transplant and the only viable donor is the ex-kingpin drug lord piece of shit boyfriend of hers, so she's going to hunt him down in about 18 hours, take his liver from his body, and deliver it to her son so her son can survive. That's the premise on it. My, 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 you know, the, the reason I want to do this film is, uh, first and most importantly, it's something I want to see. Um, secondly, everybody told me not to do it and continues to tell me not to do it. Everybody, people that trust me, believe in me, have high hopes for me. They don't want me to, they want me to do a much simpler film. I refuse. I want to make a film that I want to watch in the movie theater. I want to grab the audience's attention in the 10 minutes that I have and blow their minds. I want it to feel like the first 10 minutes of the feature film, which we also have in store. You know, this is not exactly the first 10 minutes, but it's close enough for you to get the point. Um, and, and thirdly, or C, whatever countdown we're going by, I, uh, I want to see a woman on screen. I, I love what they're doing. I love Atomic Blonde and um, these, these uh, Colombian. There's a bunch of, of, of female kick-ass uh, action stars out there, but, but I, I have a different vision for it. I have a grittier vision. I have a more real-world vision for kind of this heightened, heightened reality. And uh, I, I just want to see a, a, a woman kicking the shit out of dudes. I just want to see it and I want to believe it and I want Mama Bear to feel like the female Punisher in a sense. I want her through this short to create a comic book existence out of a real life character almost, you know. She will be the most downplayed character surrounded by the likes of some of the greatest actors that we know and very much in all of our inner circle. Um, I'll list just a few. Uh, Rob Benedict, Richard Spate Jr., Brianna Buckmaster, Kim Rhodes, Jason Manns, Jim Beaver, just to name some, uh, are going to lend me their incredible talents. Uh, it's it's mind-blowing that these people would do this for me and support me. and, and I, I just keep telling them the same thing. It's all the people that keep telling me not to do this. These are the people that believe in me. These people want to be a part of this project. These people want to make it happen. And I keep telling them, the ship will sail. You know, the ship will sail no matter what. We are, we are not going down with the ship. We will not fail. Um, I, I've, I want to feel stressed out going into this, but I can't, I haven't been able to get myself to the proper stress level that I think I should be feeling. And in part because I feel like, and this is as, as narcissistic as you want to believe it or cocky or whatever, I feel like I was a born leader and a director. A large part of it is being a believable uh, a leader of a group of people you know, to make something. They have to follow you into a battlefield. And when I mean a battlefield, I'm shooting a 10 page explosive action thriller slash comedy in four days, you know, in four very short days, Saturdays and Sundays, in between my job, in between these conventions, in between all of these other actors' jobs, and uh, I just don't feel nervous about it. I, I, like, don't feel the anxiety about it. It's like, for five years I've been sitting and thinking, man, I want to direct a movie, man, I want to direct a movie. I'd love to go to Warner Brothers Directing School. I, to what, how do you get in? You have to do a short, you know. I've Rich has been like a, like a, a mentor in so many ways, and I've kind of like followed his plan of 
busting your ass, do the work, show up, and you'll succeed. And it's really that simple. It's, it's about the dirty, 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 dirty four-letter word that nobody wants to deal with. And that word's work, you know? It just is. You can change your story, you can change your life, you can change your moment, whatever it is, if you're willing to put in the work. It's no big deal. You hear all these inspirational people often talk about, I wake up at three in the morning or four in the morning, whatever it is, whatever their secret to success is, and you hear that and you're inspired by it. You know, I'm gonna wake up at three o'clock in the morning tomorrow and do it. But the thing is, is you gotta be willing to do whatever it takes day after day, not just once, not just being inspired for a moment. And for me, I've been inspired for five years and now it's time. My wife wanted to take three years out of the business she wanted to be a stay-at-home mom and give our son everything that parents wish to give to their kids. And we had the opportunity to do that. She took a back seat to acting. I took the front seat. I did all the dadding I could in between jobs. And she has been everything and so much more that a young boy would ever need. And my son has grown and their relationship, and my relationship too, but more importantly, their relationship is it's everything to me and how our life has been shaped is just been forced into making this movie I called my buddy Lee Ehlers he's a writer he's written a short for me before and he's written a couple features for some guys in Hollywood he's an ex-Detroit cop and I said Lee I need to do a short I needed to feature a female hero and um, it's gotta be a badass action movie <laughs> and he literally goes well I have one I, I, I just wrote it. It's, it's formally titled, and maybe not formally titled, Don't Fuck with Mama Bear. You have to leave that out, honestly, or whatever you're going to do. Um, and I was like, well, pitch me on it. And he gave me a little better pitch than I just gave you. And I said, dude, can we make that a short? And he made me a short. And now we're going to blow some stuff up and shoot up a whole lot of people and throw my wife through a 30-foot glass ceiling and light some vans on fire and have some dogs and some bullets. And, oh, forgot to mention, my wife, Mandy Musgrave, is the lead of the movie. And you know who else I forgot to mention? Adam Fergus is playing a very pivotal role in the, uh, in the project as well. And that's just, there's so many more involved. I mean, In from, four days. In four days. Yeah, there's, there's a lot happening. Uh, there's a lot happening. I don't feel stressed about it. I'm like trying to feel stressed <laughs> about it. But I've I got the greatest line producer, the greatest DP. My editor works with Universal. My fight choreographer is working to, to doing the Avatar sequels. Like everybody involved are amongst the best in the business. And with this crowdfunding, if I, if I can get the money together, we're going to make the pretty much the most badass film ever and then if I don't use all the money that money is going to go into shooting the f feature to funding the feature and and this will essentially be a proof of concept for the feature it'll also be you know submitted to film festivals and used as a, a way to carry me hopefully into Warner Brothers directing school you know if they'll have me and it's just my dreams all of my dreams and my 14 years in the business kind of just, just coming to the, the reality and it's, it's, it's breathtaking and, I, and I, feel, I just feel so ready and I, the other thing is I just filmed the last part of my little crowdfunding video with Robbie on stage with the fans because it's, this is as a result of the fans. Everything I am, the courage that I have, the, the, the vision that I'm willing to try to carry out, my friends that say yes to being in this movie, this is, because uh, here, this is, exists nowhere else but here. Like everything that I need fulfilled, I'm getting from Supernatural or some six degrees of Supernatural. It's a phenomenon and uh, you know, I, I can't be more transparent, you know? Like this is the money that's given to crowdfunding it doesn't go in my pocket. It doesn't go in the writer's pocket. The actors are getting paid pennies to show up because it's a union gig, so they have to get paid. But they're all working for, um, I'd like to say, 99.9% .9 less than they would make on any other job. Um, no money is, is going anywhere except to make the most badass action short that I could possibly come up with.
as of now, I'm thinking about 45 days. See, I'm going <laughs> to, in the, in the video that I filmed earlier, and you guys will know once this goes live, I say all of our investors are in the process of being tapped out. I'm literally funding everything until the crowdfunding money comes through or doesn't come through. Hopefully it comes through or I'll be one broke cookie. Um, I want to keep it open through production because I want to have the ability to add perks as far as a set visit or props from the set. I want to do a video diary from the set. That's a big one for me. Every minute of my, my triumph and defeat I want to bring to you guys. I want to take you guys through the process of this with myself. It's my first time doing it, you know. I have a 40-person crew on a 10-page short film. That's crazy. That's, you know, it's wild and it's big and uh, I just I want I want anybody who's invested in it to be able to go on this ride with me. It's going to be fast. It's going to fly by. You know, we're, we're, we're shooting, we'll be wrapped on the 18th of November and hopefully final cut by the first of the year at the latest. So I could submit it to some film festivals and maybe have some digital downloads as perks or, you know, whatever we come up with. Um, we're doing it and we're doing it now and we're doing it fast. And if somebody says no, I'll find somebody else that'll say yes. And, and that's just all there is to it. The ship will sail, it will, it will sail and it will arrive safely and with some sort of imagery. Hopefully it's awesome. <laughs> I'm most excited about my actors, my wife included. Um, I've, I've preached this from day one, she's the talent in, in our relationship, and I've just been blessed enough to have abs that have kept me working. You know, I'm, I've, I'm being honest, you know, it's not, I'm not making a joke about it. Like, I, I worked out my whole life, I got in good shape, I, I, I've been handsome, uh, you know, I've been gifted all these things that have made it easier for me to work in Hollywood, let's not pretend. But, my wife is gorgeous, and wildly talented. And she's so passionate about being a mother that it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's just, it, it's so inspiring to see that. It's, I need her to have her chance again, you know? And I, I wanna be the one, like she can hop right back in and start auditioning now, taking meetings and whatever. But the fact that I get to be her, her, you know, I'm gonna serve her up back to Hollywood in this way to me, a different woman. A woman that has a baby, she was, old Mandy passed away that day and new Mandy was born, mom Mandy. It's a different character, it's a different person. There's levels and, and development things that happen when you become a mother uh, that are profound and they show up in your acting and your comedy and your your wittiness and your, you know, just in, in all the aspects and, and it's time, it's time to show that. So I'm most excited that I get to do that. Secondly, and probably equal to, I'm most excited the talent that's attached to this on both sides of the camera. Talking in front of the camera, I, I'm going to get to direct people that I, are icons to me. Period. That's all. And when I say direct them, I mean, I'm going to go, can you stand here and do what you do? <laughs> I'll make you look beautiful in my shot. I'll light you to look lovely. Um, you do what you do the best that you can. And when you direct, you hope that you can hire talent, that it can be that way. Um, they, they've all said yes. You know, they all said yes months ago. It's just, it's, it's incredible. And behind the camera, people are stepping up. It's phenomenal. From our editors to our CGI guy, Kevin Capizzi. It's just we have so many incredible people that are like, this script is super refreshing. It feels like, you know, I've pitched it as um, the movie Domino with Kira Knightley. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's a true story of a bounty hunter. It's Kira Knightley and Mickey Rourke meets Crank with Jason Statham, where he's struggling to keep his heart going through the movie and you're sweaty palmed watching it. You, it's so uncomfortable. I want this to be the same way. I want you to hold your breath from the first minute and I don't want you to take a breath again until it's over. Hopefully you have great big lung capacity and nobody suffocates. <laughs> but that's the idea. I want it to be uncomfortable. I want it to... I want you to go on a ride with me. And I've fallen asleep and woken up with the same vision for the last five months, six months since I've gotten the script, and it's all about just making that vision happen. And I, I have 
my line producer, Jeremy Hill, has helped me align a team of people who seem like they're going to make it happen. And they are jacked up on the idea. You know, I have people from all aspects of, of TV, film, and commercials coming on board this. And they're all kind of saying the same thing, like, this is a great big project for a short film. But man, does it seem exciting to try and pull it off. Like, it's, it's just an interesting, very stylized, um, it's it's gonna be one. It's gonna be a short film for the books for sure. You know, it's it's gonna be something different. It's gonna feel huge, and hopefully, when it's over, you're gonna be like, "What the? F can we see some more?" That's the idea, and hopefully, somebody wants to invest in it. And if they don't, this is this is the first step in me putting together a team of people like Rich and Rob have done, so we can move forward onto the next project. Uh, my writer, Lee, is so wildly talented, he's got a shelf full of scripts that are waiting to be made, and I'm at the point in my life at 36 that I'm, I'm not waiting to make anything anymore. I'm not going to sit in a casting office and beg you for a job that I don't really want in the first place. I'm going to make my own stuff, and then if I, if I get to do other projects on the side, that's fantastic. I'm be thrilled about that. It always feels good to be booked for a job, don't get me wrong. That being said, I, I'm, I'm done uh, creatively drowning, you know. I'm going to come up and get a nice breath of fresh creativity for myself, for the fans. Something interesting, something different. Most importantly, different. It's not a remake. It's not a reboot. It's, uh, you know, it's not a sequel. It's its own thing. It's Mama Bear. She may become her own comic book. Who knows? Who knows? You know, why not? There's enough talent in this fan base that if I make a good enough short, you guys will make it into a comic book whether I like it or not. And that's just another beautiful thing is this is something I get to do with you guys. And it'll, in essence, be everything that I ever dreamt it could be and dreamt it couldn't be. It'll gain so much more through this home that is my fandom. It just, it just will. And I rest. I think maybe that's why I'm so confident in it. And this is my world that's behind it and this is kind of you know I'm doing it for myself I'm doing it for my wife and I'm doing it for a ton of other reasons but one of those major reasons is f for this fan base I've sat in many of meet and greets talked about directing and fans looked at me and gone okay so do it when are you going to do it you talk so passionately about when are you going to do it now I'm going to do it right now I'm going to Start November 10th, I'm going to shoot November 11th, I'm going to shoot November 17th, I'm going to shoot November 18th, and, oh, God willing, and supernatural spirits willing, I will be picture-wrapped on November 18th. And if not, I'll figure it out. The ship will still sail until Monday if it has to. <laughs> <laughs> Tons of stuff. Uh, you know, all, all social media shout-outs and... and Skypes and FaceTimes with myself and, uh, you know, a video diary and signed one-off movie posters. Like I'm having my, our, my CGI guy, Kevin Capizzi, is creating a wonderful, wonderful poster, uh, you know, signed by the cast and scripts and all sorts of stuff. You name it. All the stuff you've heard of before and you haven't heard of. You know, we want to get all that tickets to the screening. We're going to, you know, have as a perk. And then depending on how many we sell and will de decide how large of a venue <laughs> we have to rent out. Um, I don't know, you know, I'm, and that's why I want to keep it open through production because I want to be interactive on, on the social, on the socials and see what, you know, hey Matt, maybe you should offer this. A lot of us would like to, you know, be part of it as a producer for this. Yeah, you know, producer credits, executive producer credits. You know, we love t-shirts, so. Yeah, oh yeah, and there's a t-shirt, <laughs> I meant to say that. It's just, this is how crazy I am. I, oh, my mind is tangent, 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 tangent. Yeah, so it's, my mind is tangent, tangent, tangent. But yes, there are, there will be t-shirts uh, available. There will only be a limited quantity and they'll never be made again, you know, stuff like that. Um, I will have a say in all of the designs, you know, it's, there's a very, very, very distinct visual that I'm going for. This isn't just light it and let's shoot it. This is not. It's color. It's oversaturated. It's grainy. It's gritty. I'm, I'm creating a, a, you know, a picture. You know, if I could paint it with paints, I could, you know, do it. But I got to make it move. You know, but it's extremely stylized. You know, it's not going to look like every 
anything else. It'll look like some stuff that's out there because I'm going to steal from some of the greatest <laughs> ones. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to just, you know, my vision's clear in my mind. It's about, you know, transferring that and, and seeing how it comes out, which to me is going to be badass. We'll see. Thank you to you guys. You know, Nerds and Beyond have been more than supportive. Support of, support of, support of, um, gotcha more than supportive of, gotcha. e of everything we've done. Uh, you know, myself and Rob and Rich and the rest of the crew, and, and we just appreciate it so much, and, and it extends to the fans. You know, the fans have kept our hearts pumping for years now. They continue to do so. We continue to give back. They keep on giving. We keep on giving. It's uh, it's just the circle of life. It's, you know, <laughs> I could break out and do a Disney song if you want. Um, but it really is. It is what it is. So thank you, fans. Um, I thank you in advance for investing in me and my ideas, which essentially have been brought to light by you guys. So uh, by doing this, you're investing in yourself in, in, a, in a weird way. And I will hopefully continue to develop as a better and better dude through you guys. I mean, I say it all the time, I wouldn't be sitting where I am and be the person that I am or proud of who I am had it not been for the fans and whoever's watching this and gives a crap enough to watch it. It's, you know, I'm just more than grateful. That's all.